Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how can you create end-to-end -end flow utilizing Azure OpenAI. And here we will be using Azure Search as well as the LangChain. Let me quickly show you the list of components which we will be using. The very first thing we need is Azure Storage because this is the place where we are uploading our text files. And then we need Azure Cognitive Search. Then of course we need Azure OpenAI. We also need OpenAI Embeddings. And then we will be having Chroma as our vector database. And at the end we will see a Retrieval QA so that we can question and answer against our index data. So these are all the things which we will be going through today. And the very first thing you need to know is you should have an active Azure subscription. For this particular scenario, I have already created a search a storage account and uploaded a file that I can show you directly. So this is my container and here I have already uploaded one sample text file which we will be using. So it is not too huge in size because I just want to demonstrate or give you the idea of what we are planning to achieve. Next thing we need is the cognitive search. So you can search for cognitive search and click on create. It will give you dialogue similar to this wherein you can create the instance of your search service, select your resource group, you can create new one if you want. You can give, uh, you need to give some service name which should be unique and then the location and the pricing tier. So you can change your pricing tier based on your requirement and your usage. So once this is done, I'm not going to do it because I have already deployed this instance. So let me open up that for you. So this is the one which I have created. Okay. So and like I told, we will be reading data from Azure Storage. So what you can do, you can click on import if you already have a data or if you want to create index out of your existing data, then this is the way you can do it. Otherwise, you can also go ahead and click on create index here let it load yeah add index is there so you can go ahead and add it but in my case i was already having data in my storage so i just imported it selected uh, this azure blob storage and just followed the menu which was coming over there so this is quite easy to do next thing we need is uh, we need to have azure open ai instance so this we have already created in our previous videos. So I'm going to utilize the same one here. So this is the instance and you can go to Azure Open Studio and see what all uh, deployment models are available for us. So this part I'm not going to cover it again. So in case if you have doubts about how we have created this instance and what is Azure Open AI Studio, I would recommend you to watch my previous video in the same series. So with that let's jump on to the code now what we are going to do here is these are the few things which we need i have already imported os because we need to set variables in our and we need to set environment variables the very first thing is the service name so what i am doing here is i am going to let's go back i will tell you from where i am picking all these fields so this is my service name on the top you can see then comes your index name so once you are done with your data import part you will see that your index is listed over here so just click on this and you will get the details about it so you need to grab this particular name so that's what i have done it over here and then you need search api key so don't worry if i have displayed it because i'm going to delete this instance uh, immediately after this so but just to show you how we are doing it then we need to go to search APIs. So for that, let me go here. And inside keys, you can see that the keys are listed over here. I'll let it load. I think it's going to take some time. Okay, so these are the keys which you can use it. So primary admin key and secondary key, the other one which I have used is this one. So similarly, you can add more keys. So you can use any of these keys, but we are going to query our data. So that's the reason it is preferred to go with these query keys. So this is the key which I have copied over here. 
these three are the de uh, details which we need then we need to go ahead and create the retriever so for creating the retriever you need to pass in the field name like based on which field you want to create this so for me it is content in your case it could be different let me quickly show you what is the field so let's go back to indexes and here if you will click on this field you will see that for me it is content because I have not modified uh, but you are free to choose any name over here so this is the field which we are reading because it is holding my actual data which I am going to retrieve as well as search so this if I will execute you can say that you can see that it is giving me one document with some details about homelessness people homelessness okay so this is document next thing is we need to go ahead and generate the embedding so this is pretty straightforward we are just calling the constructor of openai embeddings and doing it let me execute this cell as well then comes the vector db so in which we are going to generate or uh, index our data here you can see i'm passing the document so these docs are nothing but what we have received from your search then we are passing the embedding and then the processing directory in case if you want to retain your embeddings let me execute this as well okay now we have the vector database ready next thing is we need to pass this to our retrieval qa so what this retrieval qa is doing is it is taking llm so it you can choose your LLM, it could be OpenAI, Azure OpenAI or whatever you want, accordingly you need to change the syntax. So in this particular case, we are using Azure OpenAI and we are setting this particular as an engine because this is the model which I am using. And retriever, we are calling the base retriever which is on the same vector database which we created above and chain type is stuff. So based on your results or requirements, you can definitely go ahead and change this chain type it could be your refine map reduce or anything so let's go with this stuff because my data is not that huge so it would work very nicely now my actual query comes where does a homeless person stay so the only thing which you need to do now is run the chain run it and you can see that you got the response a homeless person typically stays in a shelter or on the street so I hope you enjoyed this end-to-end -end flow and understood how easy it is to create. The only thing is you need to know where you are storing your documents, how you are generating your index and how you are querying that. So this is the main part. I tried my level best to pull all these pieces together just with this small demo. And if required, let me know in comments if you want to, me to make a video on how to deal with large document in the same line. So that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this and thanks for watching.